Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For those of you guys interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. I do want to give out a big thank you um, to all of you guys who have watched each and every single one of you guys that has watched my videos, that have subscribed to my channel, that like and share my videos. I truly appreciate it. You guys are quickly growing my channel and I know I would not be able to do that without you guys. So thank you guys so much for the support. For those of you guys who have came to me for private consultations, anything to do with spellcraft, magic, um, anything to do with candle magic, you guys, I am so bombarded with work right now that I want to apologize for uploading a little bit late. Again, like I said, the end of the year is always the busiest for us and my year started, um, the busiest uh, since September. So it's been an ongoing wave and I am extremely humbled and thankful for it. Thank you guys very much. I truly appreciate it. Um, and again, like I said, for those of you guys that have came to me for anything to do with Spellcraft, you know, I, it makes me so thrilled and excited to give you guys the results, get you guys quick results. That is ultimately the reason why I do this. So thank you guys very much. Definitely stay posted um, as I will be continuing uploading videos uh, for spells that you guys can, you know, do for yourselves. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we must help ourselves. So uh, that's, you know, part of the witch's wisdom. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you guys. Truly, thank you. And those of you guys that have reached out to me, please be patient uh, with emails and stuff as I, you know, I do try the best I can to go through all my emails. Um, but with, you know, the massive messages that I get, it's it, sometimes I can't, uh, it, there's only one of me. <laughs> so please be patient with that as in my all other sources of media outlets, uh, I do get messages as well. So please note that and be patient. Don't think I'm ignoring your emails. I will get to them as soon as I can. Okay. So anyways, after that long spiel, thank you guys very much. And let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Capricorn's moon, sun and rising regarding your love life for the middle month, the middle of the month of November, 2017. Now I was shuffling the cards, um, before I started recording and the four of pentacles came out already. So, Oh, you got cards flipping. All right. So let's get into it. Capricorn spirit. What are the messages for Capricorns for the mid month of November, 2017 regarding their love? All right. Okay, so you have the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, Partners Cards, Knight of Swords, the Death Card, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Spirit, please give me current situation regarding the... Okay, current situation. You have the King of Pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Capricorns. Uh, King of Pentacles, definitely stability. That's what you guys are aiming for. That's your ultimate desire and what you're wanting to manifest. As a current situation, you guys are very structured. You're being very structured, very motivated. You're trying the best you can uh, to become financially stable. Uh, for some of you guys, I do see um, commitment, marriage. Uh, for others of you guys that have been married for quite a while, you guys are definitely working towards that retirement or putting uh, money to the side for that ex for that retirement um, and being able to be well off. Now, I do see a lot of um, I do see a lot of uh, stability coming through for you, Capricorns. I know this is a love reading, but of course it wouldn't be a love reading if if in the Capricorn sign stability or money didn't come up. Anyways. Um, your cards. You have the four of pentacles here. Four of pentacles could represent you holding dear the relationship or wanting a relationship at the present time. Ten of wands definitely speaks about burdens and having major responsibilities. For some of you guys, it could represent the page of cups could represent a water sign. A water sign would be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For others of you, it could be a fire sign, which would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. For others, it could be air signs, which would be, <laughs> I see all the signs here. It could be, um, Gemini, Libra or Gemini, Libra, 
or Aquarius and for others it could be Scorpio now again like I said I do see a lot of burdens a lot of um, it's not so much about burdens it's more about not having enough time as the ten of wands does represent again um, being overworked or being overburdened uh, perhaps some of you guys uh, recently with the page of cups pages represent messages but it could also represent children so it could be taking on the responsibility um, or wanting to take on the responsibility of taking care of, you know, your children, wanting to provide more for them, whatever this may be if you guys have children. Now, for those of you guys that, you know, again, like I said, are single, it could be that you're wanting and desiring a relationship, but at the present time, you're putting so much effort and work towards uh, your business, towards the company you work for. The Page of Cubs does talk about, um, does speak about emotions, um, and this is how you're viewing the partner or the person that you're dealing with now again it could be a water sign again like i said but the page of cups definitely talks about a message coming through in regards to a person letting you know that they're interested in you it could be that you didn't know and you find out or they speak to you and let you know how they feel that they have feelings towards you or that they want to get to know you the page of pentacles definitely is something that it's been um it's been slow and steady so again like i said for a lot of you capricorns what this represents it could be that you're in you've been interested in a person in the work field um and it's been you know the, that type of flirty type of energy as the page of cups usually represents being flirtatious but again the page of pentacles is you are okay with flirting but you're not wanting to take it or pursue it to the next level only because you're so focused and wanting uh the stability or wanting to make sure that you're good in regards to your business and finances before you can put effort. Now, the Ten of Wands definitely does represent not having enough time. So for some of you guys, it could be that you recently started connecting, you're dealing with a water sign, but you're not putting so much effort. There's more communication, and they're open towards letting you know that they're interested and wanting to get to know you better. But it seems like you're tied up because you don't have, you have lack of time. You don't have so much time to invest in people at the present time. Now, how do your partners view in the situation? They have the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords definitely speaks about uh, a cutthroat type of energy. It could be that for some of you guys that have been in a committed relationship or in a long-term committed relationship, it could be that your partner is seeing you as a little bit rude or a little bit blunt, which you know Capricorns are definitely known for that. Um, but it has to do with the fact that, again, the Ten of Wands, I feel that a lot of you guys are, you guys have restraints with time. It's like you guys don't have enough time. For some of you guys, it could even be that, you know, it's your partner's birthday and you forget because you've been so busy. Um, but there's definitely an ending here. And I don't say, I don't see an ending in the relationship, but more so in the ending cycle of struggling and finally being able to sit back, take a deep breath, Capricorn, and actually put effort into the partnership as the Two of Wands is here. And the Death card is facing the Two of Wands. For those of you guys that have been single, there's definitely a promise for something long-term. Um, not just long-term, but there's also a person coming in for those of you guys that are single and have not been dealing with anyone. Um, you guys may be dealing with the Scorpio, and this Scorpio, again, perhaps um, they're a very cutthroat, very to the point. Um, you know, Capricorns are all about being blunt, but we are very tactful in what blunt is and what aggression is. So what I mean by that is we're okay with people being blunt and honest. We actually have very high regards towards that. As a Capricorn myself, we have very high regards for that. But when you're being almost crossing the line of being disrespectful or of being too aggressive, aggressive in the sense of when you belittle other people, we don't stand for that shit, okay? And yes, I could probably say I'm speaking for all Capricorns. <laughs> um, unless you resonate with the shadow side, then of course you're all about, you know, aggression. But again, um, we're not okay with that. You know, we're very humble in nature. So again, the Knight of Swords could be a person rubbed you off the wrong way. They rubbed you off as being cocky or being condescending. And that's not okay. Um, but I feel that the, this time around, they may come back. And this is a person from, it's, it's a person from the past, but it's a person that you never gave the opportunity to Capricorn. And again, for some of you guys, it could be a Scorpio. And this Scorpio is definitely hauling ass towards you. Um, the reason I say that is because the death card is here and it's going uh, definitely towards the two 
of wands and the two of wands is definitely partnerships so again if it didn't take off um for some of you guys it could be that this person actually decides like i was just you know um very i guess aggressive not in a negative way but because i thought i know sometimes capricorns could come off as being very strong uh they could come off as being um what's the word i'm looking for you guys tend to come off as you know out of all the signs you're the one that could you know take a very strong personality because you guys do have a very strong personality but there are certain things even very tiny minimal things that speak volumes to us about a person's character and this person probably perceived you as oh this is a very strong tempered personality type of person so she can take on or he can take on uh me being you know very cutthroat me being very you know straightforward um but then they realized that mistake because they came off as something they didn't want to come off, which was condescending, a bit narcissistic. And again, once they understand that, they definitely come through and show their vulnerability because the two of wands, again, the death card is definitely looking towards the two of wands. So it's like they're coming straight at you, being completely honest and letting you know, hey, I am interested in you. Please give me another opportunity. Or again, this could be you, Capricorn. It could go vice versa. Um... But at the end of the month, going into the first week of December, the Six of Wands, there's a feeling of accomplishment. There's a feeling of, you know, um, again, for some of you guys that are single, I definitely see that changing very quickly. If you've been single for quite a while, I definitely do see a Scorpio, a fire, water, air, you know, for all of you guys. Um, it is a general reading, so it could represent different a different type of you know archetypes i should say but anyways there is definitely a promise for something long term this is your card capricorn so in regards to love and romance this is your current situation which is the promise for stability something long term and the death card for those of you guys that are single there's definitely an ending of singlehood going into a committed or something monogamous um so again very beautiful reading the six of wands by the end of the month going into the beginning of um, the first week of December, there's going to feel an accomplishment, a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of you finally persevered or you finally found the person that uh, can almost match you, Capricorn. Um, and again, like I said, um, I know, you know, you guys may come off as very strong, very almost detached personalities, but in reality, um, I know you guys are extremely deep. You guys, you know, value integrity to a very high regard. I mean, you know, me, I'm, I'm a native Capricorn. So again, like I said, um, definitely, definitely beautiful reading for you guys. Wishing you guys the very, very best. Definitely keep me updated. Comment below. Let me know how things go out for you guys. Comment, like, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And we will see each other soon. Okay? Bye.